Welcome to Utah State University's Vertebrate Paleontology course. My name is Benjamin Berger. In this video, we will examine the evolution of shrews and moles, the insect-eating mammals. Historically, mammologists have used the term insectivore to describe a group of mammals that included a diverse array of mammals which ate primarily insects. However, today we refer to this group as the Euliptifida group, which is limited to four living families and one recently extinct. The Aranicidae, which includes hedgehogs and gypnurans, the Sauricidae, the shrews, Tapidae, the moles, and the bizarre Solnodontidae, the Solnodons, which are limited to two um, highly endangered species living on the islands of Cuba and Hispanola. And the recently extinct Nest Fontiidae family, which is also known from the Caribbean, where they recently went extinct about 10,000 years ago. Now, the fossil record of most of these families kind of extends all the way back into the Eocene with members of the group known from the Paleocene right after the extinction of the dinosaurs. Now, if we look at the skulls of Euliptoniflins, uh, such as the mole, we see that they have a reduced the size of the zygomatic arch, the jugal or cheekbone, which is just a sliver of bone in these forms. Now, this is because the eyes of these animals are reduced as most live in the subterranean or heavily vegetated darkness um, of the dense ground cover. And they don't rely on their eyes as much as other mammals. The teeth, however, are highly developed for eating their prey, worms, insects, and other invertebrates. The teeth of Sorex, the common shrew, are highly developed for snacking on invertebrates with massive projecting canine-like canine -like fangs and high cusp molars with these long slicing edges. The upper teeth in Sorex feature uh, these mitten-shaped incisors and are coated in red iron oxide to help strengthen their teeth. Several members of the group, such as um, Blairinia, are venomous and can secrete poison in their saliva. And the Solonodontidae family and its fossil record, um, they've developed a groove along the canine to actually deliver the poison to victims of its bite. Now, despite the small size, the fossil record of the group is fairly well represented in the rock record. And early members of the group can be found in the early Paleocene and are considered members of the Simolestida or the Nyctotheridae. Some of these late, later Paleocene members become arboreal, like Apatomyids, while others evolved into the otter-like Panelestids. There are still some questions about how these early Cenozoic fossil groups are related to modern Euliptoniferans, uh, which start appearing in the late Eocene, with the first true shrews and moles found in North America and Eurasia. One group, the Geolabodontidae, which includes the very shrew-like fossil Sententiodon, it will, is well represented in the fossil record starting in the late Eocene. These tiny insectivores were able to survive the entire Cenozoic air, largely because of their highly specialized anatomy for eating insects and other invertebrates. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to learn more about Utah State University's geology program, check out the website geology.usu.edu or my own website at benjamin slash uh, Links are found in the description below.